How many Wheaties could be in a bank wrapped penny roll if both ends are enders? Hey everybody, it's Rob of the Rob Finds Treasure and if you watched my last mail call, one of my subscribers gave me a roll of pennies that has wheat enders on both ends. And they wanted me to open it in a separate video so I figured I would go ahead and do that. If you haven't watched that video, you can click the link above. I'll have a link for it. Before I opened it, I thought I'd have a little fun with it though. So I grabbed what we think could be a lot of wheat pennies in a roll since both sides have enders. And I wanted to compare it to a known zinc roll. This is an entire roll of 2018 P pennies. So I thought I would go ahead and weigh it first. And we get about 126 grams. If you think about 50 pennies weighing 2.5 grams of zinc, you would figure that would be 125 grams would be a complete roll of zinc pennies plus the gram for the paper. Hence, 126 grams. Using the same logic, what does this roll weigh? Now there could be other coppers in there as well. So all we can really guesstimate is the copper. And we've got 136 and a half. So it's 10 and a half grams heavier. If we had 20 copper pennies at 3.11, that's 62, and 30 at two and a half would be 75. 75 and 62 is 137. So it's safe to say that this roll most likely has at least 20 copper pennies in it. And the key is, how many are Wheaties? Only one way to find out. Let's open her up and take a look. And we'll do it live. Thought I'd take you in really close on this one, just for fun. First thing I wanna do is take a peek inside the wrapper and see if we see a lot of copper ends. And we do. We also see some zinc as expected. Now we know both ends are Wheaties, so let's just grab this ender and we'll grab this ender. And the two enders are a 1944D and a 1952D. Pretty common. For fun, we'll grab the next two ends and we've got a copper 74D. And on this end, we've got a 1995 zinc, which I'll check for the double die of verse. Now that we've done that, let's see, was it really possible to just have two wheat pennies that were both enders and nothing else in the middle? Well, there's another one. Wheat penny number three. And this is a 1940 Philadelphia. Here's another one, 1952 Denver. Here's another one, it looks old and there's one right behind it as well. It looks old, but it's not. It's a 53 Denver. And the one right behind it is also a 53 Denver. Oh, there's another wee penny. 58 Denver. Here's another one. A 1942. Would have been nice if it was a 43 copper, wouldn't it? Is there more? I see at least one more and maybe another one, a few more back. A 53 Philly. And looks like it's an old one. A 1917S. It's toasty, but it's still a 17S, a teens weedy with a mint. 
And that's it. So the haul is pretty good in that bank wrapped roll. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I would advise my viewer, who I will leave unmentioned for now, unless he wants to leave a comment down below, that if you picked up this roll without buying the box, I would go back to that bank and buy as many rolls as possible because it looks like you might have had a collection dump similar to my epic box. Getting yourself 10 wheat pennies in a roll is a really good haul. Now, we did some math. We said that there would be about 20 coppers, and I still want to check my math on that to see if I was close. So we've got 11 coppers, 12, and we'll just go through this kind of quick. 13, 14, 15, 16, possible 17 because it's an 82. 18, 18 coppers. I thought there'd be about 20 and that put us about 0.4 grams over. So as you could see, the math was pretty true. We thought we'd have about 20 coppers. We got about 18 coppers. Hopefully you enjoyed this little hunt with me. Figured I would go ahead and do it as promised to my subscriber who asked me to do a separate video for it. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching. Whoops. 19 coppers. We're better after all.